Okay, today we're going to take a look at group by to group different things in our queries. Um, and basically we can use that for a number of purposes. Uh, today I'm going to use it in conjunction with count to see how many types of, um, well, let's see, we're in the Colonial Adventures Tours database, so we can do something like, let's say, counting the number of trips in uh, each state, right? And we're gonna group it by state. So we're gonna start out, we're gonna create a new query in design view. Um, we'll go ahead and do trip, because that'll show us how many, or the different types of trips there are, right? So we're going to select, um, we're gonna select uh, state, because that's the thing we're gonna group by, and then trip ID, because that is the unique identifier in this case. Um, so we're going to, first of all, uh, we're going to use two different functions here. So on state, we're going to group, we're going to use group when that is basically shorthand for group by, um, and that will group them into different states. So it's going to search that whole column and say, okay, like, let's create groups with the different states. So, I mean, off the top of my head, I think we've got Vermont, and New Hampshire, and Massachusetts, and you know, the, the new, typical New England states in there. Um, and then trip ID, what I'm going to do is I'm going to count them. So that'll provide us with a count of each trip ID, and then we're going to group it by state. So if we run this, you'll see that um, it's conveniently selected each state, and then um, it'll show us the trip count. And just because, you know, we got to make this a little less messy, we're going to sort ascending. It's nice and alphabetical. So Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont. Um, I'm not going to go through and count everything, um, but I'm just going to trust that that's okay. We can check, right? We can check. So like Connecticut and Vermont and Massachusetts are both small. So let's just go ahead and check those right in the trip. So let's see. There's a Connecticut. There's a Connecticut. There should be only two, right? And there's four Vermonts. One, two three and four, and what was the other one? Well, anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, the rest of them, Massachusetts, Maine, uh, pretty, the abbreviation's pretty close. But anyway, um, what I wanted to demonstrate is that it is possible to group by state. Let's bring this back up. Uh, right, so this is how group works. We can also do other things, like I can change this to season can run this, right, early fall, early spring, late fall, and they, it does the same thing, basically. Uh, we could even do something ridiculous, like group by max group size, and we can see any of those. So really, the possibilities are endless here. Uh, wow, 27 miles. That is, that's a trip, uh, for sure, assuming these are all done on foot or something, right? Um, Anyway, uh, that's a demonstration of how grouping works. Um, if you're curious about count, um, Tanya made a great video about that. I'll put a link to it in the description so you can check that out. Or if you're on the forums, just click on her link because uh, it's really well explained. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed.